today we have Eric McKinney from G&J Pepsi. He's the Enterprise Business Systems Manager. Um, he's the also the star of the AI Builder. And if you have if you missed out, go watch the Microsoft Inspire keynote. He's done some cool stuff there, so check that out. And uh, thank you for joining us, Eric, today. Uh, how, how are you doing? I'm good. Thanks for having me, Vivek. I really appreciate it. It's uh, good to join a fellow Ohioan on a, yeah. on a on a conference call, man. I'm doing good. Thanks for inviting me. I really appreciate. it. I'm honored. I'm honored to be here. Oh. You're a star, man. Yeah. Oh, we we just keep appreciating each other, but we know who the star <laughs> is here. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> All right. Uh, so uh, recently, I posted. Uh, a, I mean, me and. John, actually, uh, John Levesque, we did a video on how to connect Siri to Flow. And Eric caught that and he was like, oh, we should use this. And he was the star who just used it and implemented it within like, I don't know, a few hours. And they have a, a running support ticket system using Siri. So um, so why Siri, I guess, Eric? Uh, what, did, what enticed you to using Siri to Flow? Yeah. So first, I was really inspired by watching what you had put together. I thought it was incredibly creative, right? So mm -hmm. kudos and hats off to you first and foremost. This isn't, you know, something that we built that was completely our idea. I mean, I was looked at what you did and I was like, wait a minute, this is incredible. So that's first and foremost. Second thing is, you know, I manage, so I manage support, I manage security, our cloud platforms and innovation at uh, G&J Pepsi. So one of those is, that you know in terms of how people go ahead and get support from us i want to create or our team wants to create omni channel experiences right so right now they can go out to a sharepoint site a sharepoint portal and they can create a ticket and they can call and we can enter a ticket in for them but my team is working on what i consider omni channel experiences much like you would have your customers right mm -hmm. Get yeah. with get your products in different products or services in different types of ways through online experiences mm -hmm. or through, you know, Twitter or, you know, insight or in store. That's the same experience that we want to deliver to our internal employees in terms of how they interact with us at G&J Pepsi. So when I saw this, I was like, man, this is a no brainer that we can add voice to this, mm -hmm. you know, and the other challenge we have is half of our users live outside of our four walls. And, oh, okay. you know, yeah. what, I'm, what I'm about to show you, Vivek, is, you know, you have that SharePoint portal and you've got an iOS device. You know, it's not a great experience. So I know that my friends on the Power App side, you in particular, are probably going to roast me for still having an info platform for our, our <laughs> for our support. We're getting there, man. Mm -hmm. we're, we're, we've been busy. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. um, you know, it makes it easier. So we're getting ready to launch an automated email. So you can just email a tech that like our our email address um, mm -hmm. for support automatically creates a ticket for you in flow. That's actually being actively tested right now. Mm. Um, and then being able to launch this in addition to that, our guys are in and out of stores. They are driving a lot. How can we make that experience even easier for them is mm -hmm. what we're out, right? Guys, girls, and folks in the office and us as ourselves are as support representatives when we're walking through the hallways we get people that stop us. Yeah. Hey, can you can you come by my desk, right? And I'm always running to a meeting. So for me to be able to just pull out my phone and just be able to say, "Hey Siri, create a ticket, punch in mm -hmm. three parameters," and then boom, I've got a I've got a ticket waiting for somebody on my team that can go pick that up is really an incredible experience, right? And the way we yeah. build it right now, what I'm about to show you is makes it dynamic, and I can explain mm -hmm. when we go through this you know how maybe you might change it up to eliminate even one extra thing that siri has to ask or prompt your your users for so yeah. um th that's that's kind of the kind of what no, we're that's, after here. that's amazing i mean uh, so it kind of reduces the amount of time spent right like otherwise i know that a lot of people they're like oh i have to go somewhere create a ticket and do something but this is like oh i just need to ask Siri to do it for me so and yeah, it's that's... really quick too yeah, yeah it's, it's quick it's, it's yep. set up so super okay. convenient. There's like 900,000 uh, individuals in our organization that have some sort of iOS device, whether it's an okay. iPad or an iPhone. Mm -hmm. So it's it's easily enabled. And you know, yeah. in terms of I think deployment, Vivek, you know, I can't actually deploy the shortcut, but we're gonna just tell folks, hey, get with us, and we can text you the shortcut. Mm -hmm. We can deploy shortcuts to the iOS device mm -hmm. through our you know Intune yeah. or MDM. 
but deploying it inside of it's a little bit of a challenge but we can easily yeah. just text it to them and just say hey here you go and it's super easy to set up from there so it's not like an, a huge it's a value add and it's not a huge oh, sure. heavy yeah. lifting experience so yeah, for those who don't know about, so Siri shortcuts, I mean, shortcuts is the app that you'd be using for this. And uh, I mean, the, the shortcut in itself, like if you create a shortcut, you just can export it as a shortcut file. And as Eric said, you can just mail it out or text it and the users can install it on their phone. So I guess that would be the best deployment uh, that you can do today. Yeah, All right, super I easy. guess uh, let's jump onto the demo then. Go ahead and do it. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. So my mom was uh, texting me right before I did this. So you might, hopefully you probably get to see some. So yeah, so emails yeah, are popping go. in. It's great. Yeah, yeah, so you know this is real, right? Our yeah. our folks know this is real. So if I disappear off the, the video frame, I apologize, Vibic. So yep. I'm, right, well, let's try it. Hey, Siri, create a ticket. All right. All right, so as you can see, I can enter the, my my work username or my UPN here is part of this, right? But Vivek, I do this because what if I'm walking down the hall and it's not my username that I'm creating a ticket for, right? Mm -hmm. So I, yep. if I if if you could set a variable that has your username in it and it's just mm -hmm. going to pick that up and you could skip that, that step, right? So yeah. I made it dynamic so that we as support individuals could just punch this in, but you could save your end users this step. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK. Now, when I hit OK, it's going to ask me for like a title of the ticket or like a short description. So you're going to hear some of ours. And we're just going to use a dummy one. So let's go ahead and hit OK. Please categorize your issues such as password. The IP printer. Uh, printer issue. Please describe the problem you are having. Uh, my printer will not print the PDF that I have. Thank you. We will now create your ticket. Please wait for the confirmation email within two minutes. All right. So awesome. we went through three steps. That was quick, right? So yeah, that was if quick. If we go quick. ahead and yeah, super quick. Three things, and you could even cut one thing out, right? So mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and refresh. And as you can see, this succeeded, right? And I did a fail. This is from earlier where we were messing around, right? But yep. this is uh, where we succeeded, and you can see it just kind of goes through step by step. And mm -hmm. we get the HTTP request, which we'll go mm -hmm. through later. And then we parse the JSON, we get the user profile, and then we use those tokens to create that ticket. And... Mm -hmm. What is, so what does that look like, right, on the technician side? So does it create yeah. the ticket? Does it look, look like? So I'm going to go ahead and just refresh this. We got some outstanding tickets in here. Mm -hmm. That's where we did some tests earlier, right, to make sure, make sure it, yeah. <laughs> it was as, as, as planned. So uh, there's our printer issue. So Siri has a little bit of trouble hearing, but that's okay. It's all yeah, about really okay. getting yeah. issue. Yeah. So this is our printer issue. If you recall, I'm the ticket user. So this is our experience, right? Mm -hmm. This is just what we use to do this. And I can come in, you know, my printer will not print my PDF that I have. Yeah. And then I can go in, edit this. And again, my, my good friends on the Power Apps side, please don't, you know, Vivek, don't, don't roast me too bad. And, you know, we'll, we'll be fine. So yeah. um, we just need to sit like, you know, an issue category. And this is easy for our folks to do, right? It's just mm -hmm. add a couple steps to, to do this and, and we're good to go. So, yeah. you know, Vivek, any, you know, anything that I didn't show you that you feel like you need to, to yeah. see for that? No, this was great. And um, I guess if you, if you can, uh, what was your shortcut? Uh, let's, if you want to show that. You can have a yeah, look so you that, guys yeah. wanna, you think you think everybody wants to see the nuts and bolts huh i mean let's just give it give like a quick overview of it not maybe the yeah, whole let's thing do it. yeah do it. all right so here we go so i'm gonna go ahead and go into my edit ticket so what does this look like right when we go into uh that experience so mm -hmm. first thing i did was add a text field to enter your work username and then yeah. as you can see that second card is to speak the text of the first yeah. card yeah and this is where i asked for input now this mm -hmm. you could probably skip down here at the bottom and mm -hmm. then i just had another text field down here at the bottom where i want my category yeah. i speak or speak that text and then i'm listening mm -hmm. for the dictation back right 
And then it's the same exact thing when you describe the problem you're having. You can put in any yeah. verb that you want, yeah. right? I mean, yeah. Like you could do anything. You could say whatever yeah. you want. Dictate the text. And then this is then, kind of the key portion right here. This is the mm -hmm. binding, right? This is this was for me when you showed this, this was like the aha, like yeah. that's how we yeah, that's how connect the two dots, right? That was the biggest piece. And then I just have the, the tokens, which you showed how to do. I was like, oh, mm -hmm. Vibex got this. We're good to go. Yeah. And then you can use the magic connector. And I'm going to direct people to you and John's blog on mm -hmm. how to do this, just to keep this short and sweet, because you do yeah. it so much better. But how to get the tokens, um, the variables to plug in, to pass mm -hmm. through JSON. And then I just want to like a nice finish it up. You know, hey, we're going to go yeah. ahead and create your ticket. And the user gets an email um on their side when you get that mm -hmm. and that's really how that looks right that takes yeah. five minutes to 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 create it, it, so. yeah so it's i mean so yeah that's what i wanted to show the users here is like it's it's super easy to create it it's not like a big coding or something that you need to do it's it's kind of ios way of doing flow um, mm -hmm. and that's what we are using so we are connecting something native to ios and something which is more native to our office 365 we're connecting those two dots and you can see it's creating a wonder over here yeah it's, in, yeah. it's incredible it's easy it took you know no time to set up right yeah. once you kind of get a feel for all of the components mm -hmm. and how they work yeah right, it's no easy. time at all to set that up yeah you sent your video and i was like next morning i'm like yeah we're ready to go <laughs> so it, and, you that's tell, great. and for a guy like me for a guy like me to do it that quickly i mean oh, geez, come you know, on, anything, that, like, yeah you you are under i mean okay <laughs> i'm not gonna say anything there <laughs> but uh, I guess one thing that I just wanted to mention was, as you said, that it C kind of took some incorrect inputs and stuff. Maybe when you want to polish it next later on, you could you could also tell C to dictate it out before it goes to flow, so that it can give a, get a confirmation that oh, you want to create a ticket for this and for this, is that right? And then when the user says yes or no, then it goes and create the ticket. Maybe yeah, it's like that, right? Yeah, so yeah, yeah, you can polish That's it a, more if you want to, but yeah, this works, right? So anything mm -hmm. that works, this is, is an great. MVP, right? Yeah, yeah, we can make, yeah. we can agile and build onto this. Yep. I mean, there's a number of ways we can go. This is minimum viable product, and it yeah. works incredibly well. So yeah, do we want to show kind of the under the covers or like with flow, or do you want to Vivek? Do you just want to hey direct them to your blog? What do you think? Do you want to show the next step and yeah. how that, that looks? I would say, uh, I mean. It's pretty simple, as you can see over here. So if somebody yeah. wants to get into more kind of, I would say, details, uh, log on to the, the video that I and John did uh, and kind of take it from there. Because, uh, I mean, Eric here kind of took all the components of it. So he sent an input, and he also is sending back something from Flow for the city to speak it out. So if you want to get some more info on that, go on to the video below in the in the the, the description yeah uh, absolutely. yep uh so is there any other use cases that you're thinking for this uh or something that you are just that one was one we could do quickly but you think about what we do with you know the you know store audit right everybody mm -hmm. has heard the story about store audit we yep. use it in a number of scenarios yep. right what they don't know is that flow does a lot of things on the back end for mm -hmm. store audit and when you're putting in things like follow-ups, items that you want folks to, like our sales folks to follow up on, mm -hmm. even though they get an automated email nightly, they, you know, imagine a scenario where I could say, hey, get my open follow-ups from, you know, uh, next, last week, right? And have mm -hmm. it do the math and say, what was last week's date? And then oh, yeah. pull that in. Right. And then just have it email them or what mileage do I need to approve for guys that are manage the merchandisers say, hey, what man, mm -hmm. you know, mileage do I need to approve that's open and then mm -hmm. work through that that scenario. Um, the list goes, I think, on and on where we can yeah. leverage that internally yeah. with ENJ Pepsi. Right. I mean, what are my sales numbers? Uh, how do they look right? How do we integrate oh, yeah. that with those pieces? I mean, we could spend months <laughs> you know, integrating and working on these scenarios. So, yeah. you know, um, so yeah, incredibly powerful to be able to leverage the voice piece was, of, yeah. of this and integrate it with the existing power platform, which is, we know how powerful that is. So it's really, really awesome. Yeah. I mean, those are some good use cases. And as you said, I mean, it's, it's a bunch of things that you could do with it. It's like, what do you want to do first? Right. So 
Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. I'm always uh, selfishly gonna gonna help my guys first and my my channel first and integrate yeah. it into our <laughs> our workflows. So that's just the selfish portion in me. We'll get it to the business later though. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I mean, it works. So, but yeah, thank you for uh, doing this with us, and thank you for showing the demo. It was great to kind of see a real world use case out of it, right? I mean, yeah. you made something, and you were like quick to pick it up and just implement it. So, that's great. Yeah, thank you for absolutely. Joining. Thanks for yeah, thanks for having me. It's a it's an honor. I I appreciate it, and uh, you know, thanks for the great blog that that uh, or video blog that you and you and John did that served as the inspiration. I, I hope more people watch those and get get you know just as good ideas or even better than than we've had. So keep it up, keep them coming. I think it's great. All right, thanks, Eric. Thank you. Appreciate it.